Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Isaiah Hill, and we are back with Ellie Noir. And this time, we and yet last episode, we just got someone who faked his death in order to be with someone. And now we're moving on to the next case. And guys, I am enjoying this uh, this uh, let's play. It is so much fun. Um, you guys are awesome. I'm sorry I couldn't fit in two. But I guess I could just do one episode, like, uh, per playlist, so it, I can be set for a while. Because I'm also working on movie reviews. Uh, stay tuned for, it, right now we're in October, so stay tuned for some Halloween. And in general, stay tuned for, okay, we're gonna uh, keep movie this reviews. Okay, we to short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Okay, fair enough. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Okay, here we go. The council's car. You hear about Adrian? Broad in Seattle threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, ma'am, my back. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Car's down the alleyway, detectives. Wow. We got a call about an abandoned that makes vehicle. Anymore. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Ooh. Hmm. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Oh wait, whoops, I didn't even click that twice. My bad, guys. Hmm. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Empty. It's owned by the Argentinian mm. embassy. Must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it any street value. <laughs> yeah. And I actually read somewhere that some of these cases are based off real life cases. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. <laughs> yep. I've actually talked to him first. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. 
Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, Ooh. last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Oh, he's confident in that answer. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. All right, Hispanic suspects. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Mm. Okay, even I can tell that it's just guilty because when you see something like where someone's doing something to it, you're going to go check it out regardless. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Wow, that's You look like honest. the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. <laughs> what exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Hmm. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, if you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? All right. It's on the port. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Someone says good nature, full lips, face. Hmm. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Yeah. I think we've rung this place dry. Let's find a game well. Okay. So this is a game well. This, uh, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the uh, cartoon uh, Top, uh, Top Cat. And this is like what makes me... And every time when I see one of these, I think back to uh, Top Cat in this game. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? There we go. Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Oh. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. 
Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks, ma'am. All right. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. Can you drive to this one? Ooh, man. Yeah, this has got to be the 50th yeah, 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 abandoned yeah, yeah, yeah. vehicle we've caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? <laughs> you kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Fair. Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an in interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this wow. Way. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pekowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, well, there's friend, thunder. let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, the Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Mm. No. Bought a Packard, Valez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial ride to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Well, Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. <laughs> you have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. Okay. You had a run-in with him? Mecanico, a presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a oh. madman? This will cause an international incident. Uh, the guy who uh, is playing uh, Cole Phelps, he was uh, on Mad Men. The Notebook. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, mm. spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Oh my god. I, I honestly have no words. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. 
Uh, I'm actually sorry guys, I'm speechless. So now we're going to the Dewey Brothers. Now I know and I said in the last video that I'm going to let my partner drive quite a bit, but... But I feel like I can't handle it. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. Guys, there's actually like a lightning storm going on outside of um, my house. See, this is where I'll make my partner drive. You're behind the wheel. Even though I would like to jump off that cliff with, with the car, because they're. It is funny, and, um. Uh, and I've hit my partner off the uh, cliff with the car, and it is funny. I'll show you guys that once I beat the game and do like all like the street crimes and do like all sort of that stuff. I promise. All right. You guys recognize that? Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac, we'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. Hmm. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. See, actually, to collect cars, you just gotta hop in those. And I will do that, like, sometime later. We keep all our tools in here. Actually doing that street crime. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used Ooh, cars for guys oh your wage man, bracket. That will, that will make anyone angry. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. That's oh, not right. right. There. Oh, there it is. I couldn't see the big wrench for some reason. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Ooh. No good. We need diplomatic plates. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. All right, here we go. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. <laughs> How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez yep. are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. There Valdez you go. He, just, he basically just contradicted himself right there. All right, it can either be the notebook or the bribery. <laughs> so we can We've do that. We talked about Des. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two of you had. And now quit wasting our time. Okay. 
So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Wow. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Hmm. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Wow. Apartment 3103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Wow. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Doubt. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. There it is. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. <laughs> Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. So what's interesting is he just says that he was an honest car salesman and he lied to us throughout that entire time. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I like this. Like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color. And look what we have now. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. Okay. I just hope our archangel has already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Here he is, apartment three. Wow. Okay, time to go upstairs. Hey, keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. All right. So how far along Well. Souvenirs are a dumb move. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Difficult to tell whether Unless it's the suspect vehicle here, from the scene. Your little one won't be seen Papa Certainly Gabriel will wow. enjoy. He has a picture of himself cleaning his own car. 
Oh, hello. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Nothing of interest. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Diplomatic license plates. Like Valdez gets his wheel back. Well, I believe that's everything. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Hmm. Why did he steal the car, Anna? All right, here we go. The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? His honor? His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Last contact with him. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. That's a lie. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Okay, so really it's the breakfast plates. Enough, Anna. There are signs or all you can over use the place souvenir that flag. Back. That kind of makes a little bit more sense, but he was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what, and I don't want to know. I love him. Wow. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Hmm. I actually do not know. I'm gonna go with... Then tell us where he is! Wow. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Wow. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. You know where the kid is. Yeah. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off yeah. the streets. There he is. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Wow. Oh, they're 
perish the car. There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. He's getting away. We're gonna lose him. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamp post. All right. The next 16-year-old I have to throw off the sidewalk, you're calling them. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. I hate it when they do that. That actually does make me even more angry. Like when they deliberately, like when sometimes like a game like deliberately has all. Oh, no. Has someone like run into when there's like no way you could have avoided it. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. You're gonna die, Garacho. God damn it, Cole. Right, Hold it go. steady. Delgado, what? you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Okay, then. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. Whoa. You got a foreign dignitary out as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing and we need more of it in this department. Wow. And if you kill Delgado, you will actually get chewed out by him. Whoa. I think Consul General Ronald Vandez gets his packer back. Almost one, please. Peace. All right, guys, that does it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you guys... Uh, want to see more le of my Let's Plays or my movie reviews, please subscribe. If you guys want to share this video with your friends or family or whoever, by all means, go ahead. If you guys want to ask, request, or say something, comment it down below. I'll read all my comments and I'll react to them. And thank you guys so much. My name is Isaiah Hill, and I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. Signing off.